Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a nice page curl effect in Photoshop. Well, what we're going to do is first we're going to drag in a picture into Photoshop that we want to have curled. Now right here I have a picture of me back in last year summer. But the first thing we're going to do is unlock our background, hit OK, and we're good to go now. We're going to hit our rectangular marquee tool. We're going to grab our bottom corner, or actually we can grab any corner that we'd like, but for me, I want to grab the bottom corner. I will grab that, and now I'm going to press Command or Control T, whether you're on Mac or PC. And then you're going to right click, and we're going to click Warp. Once we're in Warp, we're going to drag this corner to where, eh, anywhere you want. You could like drag away out here, but... That uh, would be an insane page curl, so I'm going to drag it somewhere reasonable, which would be right there. And if I sound sick right now, that's because I am, so sorry about that, guys. Once we're done with that, just click Enter and Command or Control D, the deselect. Now we are going to grab our pen tool, and we're going to zoom in super, super far so we can see what we're doing. We're going to try to grab our page tool and we're going to turn it uh, white so let's just get going all right so that looks like a pretty good selection we are going to now create a new layer and right click make a selection click ok make sure our foreground is white and press either option or alt delete click over here command or control D to deselect and now if we press this bring it back to normal it looks pretty good pretty nice page curl for now we're gonna double click on our curl or our new layer and we're gonna add a gradient and we're gonna add a drop shadow so let's do our gradient first our opacity let's make that 57 to make this 128 and this is just like the standard um, gradient should be already set click OK oh shoot we forgot to add our drop shadow in there let's turn this to 46 make this negative 42 and our size let's put that at 24 and I just got another text message okay now we're gonna choose our plain old layer our picture and we're gonna add a drop shadow to that we're gonna do the same thing almost except this will be 48 and our size will be 100 and our angle still is negative 42 click OK and look at that that is a nice page curl and everything just looks great um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember you could have done this to any corner and this is a really nice page curl, so just put some time into your pen tool. That's the most important part and the most annoying part, but that's how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter. Check out the blog because there will be a post about this, which will have all the settings, like snapshots of all the settings. It'll be a lot easier to follow than a video, trust me blog post you can see the pictures it's still images not moving so check out the blog subscribe like this video and comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one